Hello everyone, this is VGTI. Now that the dust has settled around Half-Life Alex, I've been itching to do some more TUI theories. Today, we're going to talk about one character in particular. Before that though, make sure you go give TUI Theories Part 1 a watch. In that video, we took a look at the future of TUI and its relation to Kingdom Hearts 3, specifically the ending. From the looks of it, we'll be getting a sequel to one of these franchises, or both, and that they'll both collide in some fashion. The New Day chapter in TUI Final Remix serves more as sequel setup than an actual chapter, leaving many lingering questions and mysteries that are just perfect to discuss. There's one nagging question in particular, though. Hypechon. Hypechon has been one of the biggest TUI mysteries since her first appearance in TUI's mobile port, Solo Remix. While a mobile port of TUI was certainly exciting back then, even more exciting was the secret image that appeared at the end of it. A picture of a whole new character holding Shiki's Mr. Mew plushie, the 104 building standing tall behind her with the words, New Seven Days on it. The whole thing implied that there was going to be more TUI. Someday. Fast forward to Final Remix, which contains the New Day chapter. While it didn't answer any solid questions behind Hypechan's identity, it did reveal some interesting tidbits about her. Here's what we know so far, definitively. First is that she's the sole survivor, or will be the sole survivor, of the catastrophic event that erases Shinjuku. Secondly, she's the cause of Neku's visions throughout the chapter, whether she knows it or not. In my first TUI video, I put forward the theory that the inversion Hanekoma talks about refers to the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3, in which Sora and Riku wake up in Chibiya and Shinjuku, respectively. It's supposedly around this time that the events of a new day happen, where Neku is plagued by visions of Shinjuku's destruction and Hypechan wandering its streets in the aftermath. So, the big question. Who exactly is Hypechan? I call her that because we don't even have a name for her yet. It's the TUI fandom's nickname for her until we find out more. She's quite the mystery, but digging deeper into TUI's lore reveals some interesting things. You see, TUI has a pretty hefty backstory that isn't expanded upon in the base game. To find out that backstory, you have to get the secret reports in the post game, all of which were written by Hanekoma. These reports divulge a lot of interesting info on how the World Ends With You's universe actually works. First, let's take a look at Hypechan's character design. Notice anything familiar? Mr. Mew is a pretty obvious guess, but there's a lot more. She's sporting headphones, similar to Neku. She has a white and red color scheme to her outfit, similar to Beat. Her hair is a light brown color, similar to Joshua's. And yes, she's holding Mr. Mew, similar to Shiki. As some have already pointed out, Hypechan has traits of the entire TUI cast in her character design, serving as a weird blend of all the characters. There have been several theories about her identity up to now. Mr. Mew is a particular sticking point, as there's only one of that plushie, and it belongs to Shiki. But consider this. What if Hypechan is a blend of all the characters? To back this up, we need only look to Hanekoma's secret report for Shiki Day 4. In it, Hanekoma talks about the nature of soul and what it does in the TUI universe. The report states, Soul is abstract matter revealed through our research into life and death, and a component in the makeup of the atmosphere, humans, will, thought, all phenomena. Reaper or player, those erased within the game, disperse the mind and spirit housed within their flesh in the form of soul. Thus, they are erased only from visible existence. Their soul persists in the UG until gathered and tied together according to a new code. This new code is essentially imagination. Given sufficient imagination, any form is possible, be it a pin or a reaper. Variations in this code cause the soul to manifest in different forms. In other words, humans, reapers, and noise are all entities formed of soul. The only difference is their code. Going off of that report, we know anyone's soul, after erasure, 
can be retied into something else, whether it be a human, reaper, pin, you name it. For example, this is how rhyme gets turned into a noise after her erasure. From this logic, we can get close to figuring out Hypechan's identity. The event Neku foresees in Shinjuku ends up erasing the entire district, leaving Hypechan as the sole survivor. This leads us to two possibilities. A. Hypechan was created from the combination of Neku, Shiki, and Beat's souls after their erasure in the Shinjuku event. Or B. Hypechan is Neku's reformatted soul. Sometime between the events of A New Day and the Tui sequel, Neku gets erased, and his soul is reformatted into a human being. This human has aspects of both Neku and his friends, due to his memories. It's too early to say which of those possibilities is more likely. The end of A New Day leaves Beat back in the RG, safe and sound, while Neku is shot dead by Coco, sent back to the UG to play a whole new Reapers game. No matter what happens after that, it seems likely to me that Hype Chime was created from the souls of the two we cast, either all of them or just Neku. The question is, who created her? Who took their souls and tied them together into a new form? To figure that out, we once again need to look to the secret reports. In the final secret report for A New Day, Hanakoma reveals that the alternate Shibuya noise was created by someone with a very high imagination, given to Coco to do with as she pleased. Whoever this person was, they took the soul from various noise and combined them together into an unstable alternate dimension. We hardly know anything about this mystery person, but considering they strung all of that together, they're likely responsible for setting up the events behind the eventual Tui sequel. As for why Hypechan has Joshua's hair color, the reason changes depending on which theory is right. After all, it's possible that Joshua himself could create Hypechan in an effort to have her play the next Reapers game, which would explain that feature. However, my money is on it being due to Neku's memories, no matter which theory ends up being correct. One thing's for sure though, a lot of Tui fans have thrown around the idea of Hypechan being the protagonist in the sequel. I'm not sure how it would fit in yet, considering Coco wants Neku specifically to be the revived Sho Minamimoto's partner in the new game, but it would be cool to see her as the protagonist instead. Tui is a game that has long needed a sequel, and the idea that we'll finally be getting one is still mind-blowing to me. I don't know how it will go, but until then, Hypechan is sort of the anchor for all of the theories. There are plenty more things going on in The World Ends With You to cover though, and I intend to at some point. So thoughts on the theory? Opinions? Leave them in the comments below, and feel free to recommend your own theories, whether they be Tui related or simply random theories you want me to cover. That's it for me today guys. 2019 is finally drawing to a close, so my next video is going to be a little different. I'll be getting back to the theories as soon as 2020 begins though, so look forward to them. If you want to keep up with the channel, you can subscribe or find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.